What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and things are already starting to heat up. It's getting juicy. It is getting spicy. This breakup is going to get ugly. And from the look of things, Sam is not going to hold back. Sam as Gari has now accused Britney Spears of D. V. And I'm looking. I got my eyes open. And I'm looking at all of you DV advocates. Yeah, I'm watching. Keep that same energy for Sam that y'all keep with everyone else. Remember, it's believe all victims, right? It's believe all victims. Well, it looks like Sam is a victim here, a victim of DV. And I'm telling you right now, I will not hesitate to call out the hypocrites. So keep that same energy with Sam that y'all have for everyone else. Because regardless of how you feel about Sam, and unlike most of Britney Spears' fans... I've been saying that I don't trust Sam since day one. But regardless of how I feel about Sam or of how you feel about Sam, there's no reason why we should not take these allegations seriously. Because no one deserves to be the victim of DV, right? Or... Are we changing our minds about DV just because of Sam? I mean, there's pictures of Sam with bruises all over him, black eyes. Where do you think all of that was coming from? Well, it appears that it was coming from his wife, Britney Spears. Now, if you've watched my last couple of videos, you already know how I feel about this relationship kind of you already know how I feel about this breakup yeah I don't I, I'm not on Sam's side here but I damn sure believe that Britney Spears was most likely getting violent with him with him from all of the actions that we see from Britney Spears what makes you think that she wouldn't be capable of that from everything I see she looks like she is very capable of erratic behavior. In fact, that's all we see from her. It's her acting erratically. It's her having these, what I call like manic episodes. These spurts of pure energy and paranoia and all of this other stuff mixed up in one. Which really makes for a, a dangerous concoction. There's no denying that Britney Spears is full of anger. There's no denying that Britney Spears is not in a good place mentally. There's no denying that she has very erratic or erratic behavior. It's a recipe for disaster. So even though I believe that Sam is a scammer, I still believe that Britney Spears made his life a living hell. While he was there trying to scam her. I think that this is the most torn I've ever been about a topic on YouTube. I know this kind of doesn't make sense, but it's like, I believe that Sam got in a relationship with Britney for all of the wrong reasons. I believe that Sam got with Britney for all of the wrong reasons, but I also believe that Sam wants to leave Britney for all of the right reasons. Does that make sense? It's like, yeah, I, I, I don't trust Sam. I'm not here to say that Sam was this great guy that had Britney's best interest at heart. I really think that he was trying to take advantage of, of a of Britney's situation but at the same time it's like I can't blame the dude for wanting to get out of the relationship because who would want to be involved with that 
I mean, if her weird, crazy, psychotic behavior is not enough, now we're learning that she beats Sam up all the time. And that, you know, allegedly, you know, there's been a problem throughout their relationship with, with Brittany getting physical with Sam. So I can't sit here and blame the dude for wanting to leave, even though I, I don't necessarily believe that he was there because he loved Brittany. At the same time, do you expect this dude to stay in a relationship and get beat up and have to watch his wife? spin around in circles and talk gibberish in a British accent 24-7? Like, of course he's going to get the hell out of there. How he lasted this long is, you know, I don't think I would have lasted this long, but hey, 14 months of marriage and however many years they were together before that. Oh boy, I mean, he put up with it, I guess, for a good while, but the marriage definitely didn't last long. But I'm curious, where's everyone's head at on this? Because I know how most of you all feel about DV. I know how most people should feel about DV. But I already know that this is not going to be taken seriously. For one, it's because it's a dude. And for two, it's because it's Sam. <laughs> and Britney Spears fans... They're always going to blame everything on everyone else. Now, while I do think that a lot of this is over money and Sam wanted money and clout from this relationship, I don't think that we should use that to totally excuse everything else that Sam had to go through. Because scam or no scam... I mean, we can't sit here and act like it's okay for Britney to just beat this dude up. But I want to go ahead and dive right into this article so you all could um, have a better idea of what Sam is claiming here. Sam claimed that she attacked him in his sleep and left him with a black eye. Britney Spears got physical with Sam Asgari over the years, he says, once giving him a black eye as he was sleeping. Sam frequently complained about Brittany getting physical with him during their seven years together. We're told there have been numerous fights where security has had to step in, but in one instance, there was no security in sight. There was one occasion where Sam says he was sleeping in their bed when Brittany just all of a sudden flew off the handle and began punching him. Sam did not strike back, but he was stunned as his wife pummeled, pummeled him. The alleged incident went down earlier this year, right around the same time Sam was photographed with a black eye and bite marks on his forearm. Paparazzi noticed the bruising and asked Sam, or, or, or tried to ask Sam about it, but he tried to play it off, asking for the photographers to not take any pictures. Sam was particularly concerned because Brittany had a fascination with knives. There were knives all over the house, including in their bedroom. Brittany was paranoid that someone was going to come get her and she feels as if she needs the knives as protection. Brittany tended to fly off the handle at the smallest slight and that terrified Sam. So, I mean, like I said, feel about how you want to feel about Sam. The reality is I'm someone who's been calling Sam out for over a year, whereas the diehard Britney fans, they were defending Sam and acting like I was a bad person for calling him out. But even as someone who has called Sam out, I, I believe these claims. Looking at how Britney Spears acts, I mean, there's 
this does not like surprise me at all. Like this does not sound unbelievable at all. At all. Not even, not even by a speckle. This sounds like the most believable thing I've ever heard. Like I could have told you that this situation and this relationship was like that. I could have already told you that Brittany is definitely the type to act irrationally and to put her hands on people because she puts that on display all the time on Instagram for 40 million people to see. We can see that she's very, that she is very capable of going off the handle and going off the rails. And we can see that she cannot deal with any form of criticism or anything without going crazy, without playing a victim, and without lashing out. Brittany is constantly lashing out. So now it makes sense why we so often see these pictures with Sam with bruises and marks on him. But we often do see pictures of Brittany with marks on her as well. So who knows where those came come from? There's no talks that, you know, Sam has ever put his hands on Brittany. Brittany's never um, accused him of doing that. Um, and when you look at Brittany, I think there's an excuse behind a lot of her bruises because she is literally like a dreidel, like a spinning top. She spins around and runs into things. And I know that sounds funny and it sounds like I'm joking, but I'm dead serious. Britney Spears spins around and spins into kitchen counters. She spins into walls. She falls on the ground and humps the floor and smacks her own butt cheeks until they turn bright red from the constant smacking. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with Britney Spears. So someone like Britney is like a, a little kid. You know, there's always going to be bumps and bruises because she acts like a little kid and flies around, jumps around, and spins around all day. But I fully, fully believe Sam when he says that Brittany has gotten physical with him. It sounds believable. From everything we see, it just looks like and sounds like something that would happen. I mean, I personally would be scared. Like, I would literally be scared to death to sleep around Britney Spears. I would not close my eyes around that woman for more than two or three seconds. There's a reason why her own kids don't want to be there. Britney Spears would bust in their rooms in the middle of the night, like three or four o'clock in the morning while she's having one of her psychotic episodes and she would try to rub lotion on their faces and stuff like that, literally in the middle of the night as they were sleeping, bust in the room screaming, and stuff like that, like, I would not close my eyes around that woman. And Sam is lucky that he still has his penis and balls, if she hasn't cut them off yet. And he's lucky that he's alive. Because I'm telling you right now, you may think this is an over-exaggeration. But from that dead look that I see in her eyes, and from all of this, like, almost possessed, twirling around and... And these dance moves that aren't really dance moves, they're just gyrations of pure chaotic nonsense. This woman's capable of killing someone. I fully, fully 100% believe that. So I don't trust Sam. I don't necessarily like Sam. I have exposed a lot of stuff that Sam has done. Okay, as everyone else was sucking Sam off, I was telling you all that this was going to happen. But even me, I'm like, hey, I don't blame you for getting the hell out of there. You know that you're dead ass wrong for putting yourself here in the first place. You know it, but I ain't going to sit here and blame you for running away. Because anyone in their right mind would run away. Because Britney Spears is not right. She's not in the right state of mind. And I fully believe that Britney Spears is a danger to herself and a danger to a lot of the people around her, especially if y'all have some type of emotional connection because Britney's emotionally unstable. She likes to lash out. You add that with paranoia, 
and then you add the sprinkle of knives laying all around on top and you got yourself a recipe for disaster. So I'm telling you right now, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly and things didn't have to be this way. But unfortunately, Britney has, you know, a lot of delusional fans that hyped up this moment. They're not fully responsible for this, but they're partially responsible for this. And they're responsible for this next meltdown that is incoming sometime soon. Go ahead, get ready. I know I sure am. I'll be covering it. So we'll be talking about this a lot. <laughs> I know that for sure. Let me know your thoughts though down in the comments below. As you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all very soon from the looks of it in the next video.